Hello world and welcome. I'm Karhu the Great Bear of the North and this is Foundation. Now a couple of days ago I did give you guys a first look at the game. The game was kind of buggy, the game was kind of crashy, at least for me. Um, the video was kind of really choppy and slow, so I decided to give it a couple of days to tweak out some new settings, and I finally got some good settings on Foundation that it will give me the opportunity to play this fantastic game with you all and share everything that's going on. Now, in the last episode, in the first look, I started here. Um, I'm going to move slightly differently. I'm actually going to go out here. And this is where we're going to build our first little village. So we're going to take this plot of land for free, and then as soon as we start time moving again, we will get a quest, which is build a village center. The village center um, is is basically it's well, the center of your village. It's where all the new characters that come in will join your your village. So let's put it somewhere relatively flat. So I'm going to build a marketplace around this. Let's actually build it right there. Fantastic. You can already see all the little a little people. There's Jean. There's Lauren. Who's this hiding? John. And Antoine are, is, is, is hiding in the trees and it's hilarious and it's lovely and it's awesome. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to start getting some resources. A woodcutter's camp is good because that will actually give us access to, uh, to wood, as the title suggests. And I'm just going to give the wood up here. This is basically going to be the industrial center. Um, we're gonna have the warehouse right up here, and then we're gonna have the market right down here, and then all the farms and all the other things are gonna be further down here and around here. At least that's the plan. So, um, so we've just built the wood camp, we need a gathering camp, and this is vital because berries are one of your two sources of food, and people get really cranky when they don't get their berries in the morning. I don't know. Um, and then the stone cutter camp is gonna be right here, and we're gonna build a well right near the city center right up. Yeah, let's actually build it right down. No, let's build it right there and tell the woodcutters to extract everything down here. And the way that extraction is done in this game is you just paint and you tell them what to extract. We're going to extract the stone from there, the berries from there, wood from this. And we're going to start with this so that they actually start to clear the wood from where we're eventually going to uh, build our, our main little village area. And then we're also going to clear up this area. But I do want kind of a, a, a barrier of trees just to kind of act as, as a dividing line between the uh, the resource areas and the more villagey areas. So all of this is going to come out. And since I last played this game, I did realize that one of the last buildings you actually unlock is a um, is a reforester. Is a reforester. So we don't need to worry about getting rid of too many trees right at the beginning. We can always add them later, but I do, like I said, I want this little barrier, just kind of more of a, uh, a sight line kind of a thing. There we go. And you as well will get removed. Good, this is fantastic, let's get going. There are no hotkeys yet in the game, at least none that I can find out, but like I said, this is still very much early alpha. This game is fantastic, you should definitely play it. Oh yes, what I forgot to do is I forgot to sign anybody to villagers. Uh, to jobs. We're going to assign four builders. We're going to assign two gatherers, which means as soon as the gathering hut is done, they will start moving. Jan will be a wood cutter, and Isabel is going to be a stone cutter. And once the first couple of jobs start to get finished, then we'll start to transit people into from building into other jobs. There we go. And one of the other cool things is, in this game, you don't tell people where the house, individual houses go. You just create, like, general, um, general guidelines for certain things, and they finish it out for you. So you don't play, oops, you don't place individual houses, you just tell them, again, rough zones, and then they figure out where in there they want to build. And the reason I'm removing all of this uh, tree extraction zone is because I want them to focus is I want the first woodcutters to focus on this area. There we go. And this should start getting pretty good. And you can see the villagers make their own paths. So this is clearly going to be a path into the forestry, into the into the uh, industrial era area, I guess. And there we go. And the more, the more that people walk on these paths, the more defined they will be. So it looks like they're going right through these two little trees, and that's actually kind of cute. 
That's actually kind of cute. I enjoy that. Um, so yeah. Oh, oh, we also need a marketplace to sell the berries that we gather. There we go. Excellent. Everything appears to be going pretty well. I like this. I like this a lot. Alright, so yeah, our next goal is we need to reach a week reach a weekly profit of 500 gold. That's actually not that um, not that difficult once things get going. At the beginning, we're spending a lot of money on upkeep, on on building these new buildings. Uh, that simply we don't really have the long-term economy for, but hey, we'll get there. Uh, we're going to assign uh, Anna to be to be the market vendor place, and she's just going to sell the berries to the people that have them. And so you can actually see the the berry people walking down. They've got all their berries. Now they're going to buy some berries. Look at that! It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So the needs needs are wa water is unfulfilled and lodging is unfulfilled. Right. So I should probably. Give them some area for residential. Um, okay, let's build it. You guys can build a house there. You guys build a house there. And then once we figure out what direction the, the newcomers will be, we'll set up our market in that direction. I would like it to eventually be down here, but we can't tell them exactly what, how things are going to work out. So, although it is cool, just the way it is. I like it. Beautiful, like, like, look, we can re zoom right down. It is beautiful. Like, you can see depth of field, like, it's a little bit blurry in the background, but that's, that's, that's a design choice. Oh, and all these dudes have, like, individual, like, haircuts and, and everything. Look at that, look at them, just sitting there. Oh, because he's a builder and he doesn't have anything to do. Right, okay. So let's swap out Antoine, one of the builders, into a gatherer. There we go. And there we go, everything's just, just wonderful. I said this in the other, in the other video, it's like, it's like Bob Ross. It's happy little trees, happy little villagers, it's kind of quaint, it's, it's nice, it's beautiful, I, I enjoy it. It's, it's relaxing, you know? Everybody's got, you know, their berries, it's, it's, it's wonderful, it's chill. Let's speed it up. Because otherwise nothing is going to happen for the first little bit because we need new villagers to join our village. And then it appears they don't actually have room to to build. <laughs> this realize it kind of looks like a face. There's like two eyes and then uh, and then like there's the nose, but whatever. Um, so let's build this out. Oh, there's some houses. There's some houses. So it's not actually build those up. There we go. And there's the water being built. There's the well. There's the houses. Oh, oh, this is where they're coming in. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Hmm. Either way, we will assign them to... Oh, we already have enough people there. Um, oh, right. We also need a sawmill, it occurs to me. So let's get a sawmill right... Right in that little area. There we go, and we can send people the wood, the raw wood goes to the sawmill, the sawmill creates planks, the planks then get used to build other things. And we've currently built everything that we can right now. Oh, we don't have a warehouse. Okay, so let's build a warehouse in the middle, just for a, uh, it, it, there should be a warehouse in the market, right? We'll build the warehouse right there. Actually, the warehouse will be on the edge of the industrial zone. We'll build the warehouse right here. Can we get it without killing all those trees? Because I kind of like those two trees that they walk through. Um, okay, we'll just build the warehouse right. Yikes. Right there. That's pretty decent. Beautiful! I love this. This game is is so beautiful. It's so wonderful. A villager is upgrading his house, and that's cool because your characters have different levels. You've got villager, you've got just like general peasant guy, which is like a level one house, and then you have 
serfs, which is the level two houses, and it's actually, and then you have villagers, which are level three houses. And it's actually getting to level what you need one character to get to level two before you can start to build a lord manor, which does wonderful things for your town. Um, eventually, you need to start balancing up the factions between basically the religious, the citizens, and and the lords, the nobility. You need to balance the estates. But that isn't quite in the game just yet. We're just looking at the building mechanics. We're just looking at everything like that, and it's it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Could not, could not build a house recently. Like, here's a tip. If you want to know why your guys are leaving or why they're unhappy, just hover, instead of figuring out exactly, specifically, who these uh, the, these unhappy people are, you can just go up to global happiness. Of the total 100... Oh, one person doesn't even have a job. Let's give that one person that doesn't have a job. Let's assign that... Is there anybody... Yes, okay, so Anna is working there. Let's assign another villager to the woodcutter camp. There we go. But two new people will join our village, and they're unhappy because they don't have access to water, but we have a well. I don't know what else we can do. Um, could not build a house recently. Uh, minus 20, so they need more housing. But let's actually, you know what, let's build another well just out here so they don't need to go as far. There we go. So this is the, the route in. Um, as soon as we get to 500 gold... And we're at 466 out of 500, so we're not that far off. We are profiting a little bit. Oh, and there's the two new people coming in. So, we'll turn off the buy this land. Um, we will assign them to... One is going to be a stone cutter. Yeah, we have all of the gatherers that we need for right now. Another one will be a wood cutter. There we go. We, have, we need four more gold. And then... We build, come on, and then we buy this land, and then we start expanding our market, our central town down here. Because if people are going to be walking in along this, we might as well make this the main street of our town. Oh, we did lose a little bit of gold because of upkeep, but as soon as start people people start buying berries again, we'll um, we'll get some more gold. There we go, four ninety six. There we go, 500. Boom, we have new land, new territory. And most plots of land will come with a new place to build to get berries, or a new place to get um, stone, or both. But this one, this one does not. This one does not. So instead, we're going to make this um, a bit of a residential zone. Let's get some houses down here. Let's see how that works. And personally, I like... Um, at least for houses, building in smaller sections. That way you can, you can control it a little bit more. Let's see. Nobody is building a house yet. I guess they don't need to do that. No, they're upset about not being able to build a house. So what's... Is it that the residential thing wasn't big enough? Oh no, no, there's a house. There's a house being built. Fantastic. It just takes a little bit of time for things to go through for the simulation to update a little bit. This is, oh, there's another house, good. So we're gonna have like one row of houses just along here. In fact, let's continue to, there we go. Each one of these is like a width of a house. There we go, we're gonna build that along there. Try to make a square kind of out this way. It's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be fine. We will eventually get fences um, in later building. Actually, do we get the fence? Yeah, after we get four serfs, then we start getting fences and whatever. And then we can start to define their routes and paths a little bit better. But it's still not 100%. It's still not 100%. What is the sawmill waiting on? Sawmill is waiting on wood. But we have... We have three people in the wood. That's fine. Oh, there's another house. Oh, see? See? It's not going to be quite... Quite straight, because it's angling off to this road. And that's... It's not ideal, but, uh... That's just part of how this game works. Oh yeah, we can also expand the extraction zones to start to empty this part out of trees. There we go. I do enjoy this very much. It's just, it's, it's calming. It's, oh. I definitely recommend you guys to check this out. Put it on your wish list, put it on, put it on everything. It's, it's, it's wonderful. You just move along, you just chill. 
and there will be quests, um, I believe. There will be different architectural styles, I believe. There will be natural disasters, advanced options. So right now the game is fairly easy. Basically just a, a market simulation. Make sure people have enough houses, make sure people have enough... Um, have enough berries because they oh man they love their berries oh boy do they love their berries but now we can build a lord a lord manor and i'm thinking i'm actually going to wait until we can purchase a new plot of land and we'll build the lord manor like out here looking out because there's like a little hill here so i think the lord manor will be on this hill overlooking the the square and then the town village from there so i think that's where we're going to build that but, we're not quite there yet. Oh, we got two new people coming in. We're still not ready for trade. We need, once we have 20 planks in our, um, in our warehouse, then we can start to trade and we can get trade routes in, trade routes out, and it's beautiful. Um, actually, a trade route will give us one free territory. That is the reward, which is good. Which is good. But we're not there yet. We still need 15 planks. So... We need to take one of these new villagers. Boom, Jean. Actually, we'll get two new villagers. Assign them to the sawmill. Everything, everything is good. Everything is copacetic. Everything is wonderful. It's kumbaya. It's kumbaya. It's it's it's. I can't I can't help but smile. In this game, I can't help but smile. It's just it's calming. It's nice. I enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy it too, because uh, this, now that I've figured out the little technical details, now that things have been updated a little bit, I've, uh, I don't know, I got lo I got plans for this game. The the things that you can do. Like, once you guys start to see just how you build um, some of the larger, larger buildings and the things that you can do, it's, uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. And hopefully we're going to get to that by the end of this episode. I don't want to spend too much time on this particular episode, but, uh, there we go, there's new, oh, I thought there was a new person coming in, oh, it was just a woodcutter going back, I just chopped some stuff down here, we're at 430 and a 500, and once we get one more territory right here, then I'll start to build the, the Lord's Manor, actually, hold on, is that the best place, yeah, this looks like it's a good place for the Lord's Manor, not quite up the full hill, but it's, uh, but it's there, Right, right here, right, right in this. Oh, oh, we got two new villagers joining our our little uh, village. The villagers building this house. So we've completed the warehouse, which is good, which means we can put somebody in the warehouse. And the warehouse will accept deliveries of all these different things, just to kind of centralize things a little bit more. There we go, and we'll sign one villager to that. Do we have? Yes, we do have a trader. Um, so I'm going to assign another villager to stone cutting, because I find stone cutting, at least at the beginning, um, you get all your stone from this one little patch. You don't need more than one stone patch. You need more than one berry patch. I don't know how you get berries from mushrooms, but hey, that is what it is. You need more than one of them, but you only need the one stone patch. So, I find that you actually, because right now all you really need stone for are the Lord's Manor and the church and a little bit here and there. So once you've built those, you don't really have much need for stone, so stone is your export. All of your cities at this stage in the game should be stone exporting cities. Oh, but we do have the 500. Boom. Oh, no, we just we just lost it. We just lost it. We just lost it. Okay, so let's speed this up. Let's get us back up to 500. Somebody's reached a new status, surf, which means we can start to build. Oh, bakery and windmills and everything it's because this dude it's because this dude right here or there are these two dudes Antoine and Anna um, have upgraded their house you can see there's like this little little shed for the wood there's like this wood pile outside compared to this compared to this house of Gunther and Philippe which is just uh, kind of boring it's kind of boring but anyways let us Extract this. There we go. And all right, so we're gonna build the Lord's Manor. The Lord Manor right here. So this is how you. Okay. The Lord's Manor isn't one building, but it's rather a connection 
of inter of, of buildings that kind of go together. So there's the Lord House core, and you need at least one of these. So I want this one to be kind of hit, hold down control to rotate buildings. And I'm gonna have this right here. But you can build another Lord's House core right beside it. And bring it up so that the uh just drag up the height a little bit. I'm actually going to make this one three wide. Boom. I, oh, 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 that's a little bit too tall. Because their heights don't snap relative to each other. They snap relative to the ground, which I'll admit is mildly disappointing. But, uh... But it is what it is. I'm just going to get some more of these. Um, actually, I want this here that's that's the cool thing if you if you move one object anything that is anchored to it tethered to it i don't know what the proper term like the proper game design term everything that is attached to it will will move with it too so there we go there's the lord's manor but it needs a door definitely needs a door we're going to put a door right in the middle boom it needs a treasury everything needs a tower so we're going to get one tower right in there whoops Bring that up. I also want another t tower, a treasury, right there. There we go. I'm enjoying that. Let's get a fence. And unfortunately, the fences in this one need, um, in this particular mode, need to be placed one by one. But um, and normally I would do a time lapse version of this particular build. Um, but because this is the first time you've seen it, I do want to show this all to you. And I want to show you what the game is like. And I did have, um, another user make a suggestion that I don't do time lapses. Another user, another viewer, make a suggestion that I don't do time lapses because, uh, he personally finds it not representative of the game. And he makes a very good point. So, just for this one, uh, because you are still new to this game, most people are. Just going to there we go build that fence a little bit out there this fence a little bit out there and i'm actually just going to have i want two entrances for this because they're super fancy come on two three four yeah the peasants will not walk through nobody will walk through the fence so that'll be there. We're going to have some Lord's Banners. One. Come on. Two. And each of these buildings do have different effects, or at least they will once uh, once the estate system is out. Um, but right now, we don't particularly need it. It's just for aesthetics. It's just for giggles. Oh, autosave. There we go. We're going to put a chimney there. We're going to put a chimney right there. We're gonna put a fountain. Yeah, I want a fountain. We're gonna put a fountain right there. We're gonna put some decorative bushes just around there. And we can rotate the decorate decorative bushes too. This is just kind of a uh, you know, it's supposed to be a garden or something like that. And I wish that you could hold down shift to to build multiple of these things, but you can't. If there is a, um, a way to build multiples of these all at once. I don't know particularly what that is, so, um, which is a bit disappointing. Decorative tree, let's get some trees. Let's get a couple of trees over there. Maybe a tree over there, and look at that. There we go, and the next person is already out there to, to, uh, to chop that down. Let's get a decorative bush. So decorative bushes. I don't know, they increase desirability or something, I don't know. Just want one more decorative bush, right in there. And then once all of those things are done, and this is all considered one unit, this is all considered the Lord's Manor, which is amazing. Start construction. And there we go, it'll require 245 stones, it requires a lot of stone, 145 planks, and 94 tools. But we can't make tools just yet. So what we need to do is we need to trade our planks out for tools, or trade our bread out for tools. 
But that will be the next episode once we actually see the Lord's Manor up and running. For I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment, and follow this game. This game is amazing, this game is beautiful, this game is only scratching the surface. You could even say that this current build is only the foundation for wonderful things to come, and I've been waiting to say that for days. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and I will see you all next time in the wonderful world of Foundation. Ciao.